Hello there everybody, Michael here, playing Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Our heroes, Professor Layton and Luke, are going to return to the library to meet with Emmy. And this is going to happen in the next video. In this video, I'm just going to wander around town and solve all of the new puzzles, because I recently started Chapter 7, so we've got a bunch of new puzzles to solve. And in the next video, we will reach the library and meet up with Emmy. So, if you like solving puzzles, continue watching this video. If you want to see what's going on with Emmy and you're not too interested in puzzles, just skip to the next video. Because I am doing nothing but solving ten puzzles in a row in this video. Puzzle number 66, Sorting Artifacts. Pretty simple, you want to sort the runes in the two different groups. Alrighty, so just take a look at the runes, see if you can figure out which ones go on the left and which ones go on the right. I'll give you a hint, actually I'll just tell you the answer. These ones go on the left and the other ones go on the right. Can you figure out why? Layton will explain. This is right? I knew I could do it! And there's your explanation. The ones on the left can be drawn without lifting a pen. Without retracing any lines whatsoever. Yes, 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 they were best friends. Alright. So we are going to figure out what's going on with Luke and his father. EXPLOSION! <laughs> Professor Layton is trying to hide underneath his hat. EXPLOSION! 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 Okay, enough explosions. Time for more puzzles. Puzzle number 67, Reflections. The hotel has two signs which are near mirrors. Your goal is to figure out which number will appear on the mirrors when they are reflected. So let me see, I think it's going to have to be something like this. You have lines here, and a line here, and a line there, something like that. Something like that. You see, like this, this is clearly a backwards 4, and the answer is 546. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. No puzzle is without an answer. Alrighty. Okay, so those are pretty much all the puzzles here in the northern part of town. Let's go down south. Puzzle? Alright, 
no puzzles from her. Puzzles from him. Another puzzle about cats. Every single puzzle this guy comes up with has to deal with a cat. Puzzle number 68, the cat in the maze. You want to lead the cat out of the maze. We had a puzzle earlier, which is something like this. Okay, that's not a good solution. Oh, I think this is the solution. Yeah, here we go. That's how you get the cat out of the maze. This is what I've come up with. That puzzle wasn't so hard. Okay, no puzzle from Jasmine. Ah, puzzle from Clarence. Alright, Clarence, give me that puzzle. Puzzle number 69, Lanky Lamp Post. Um, this is another math puzzle. We have these two things, which are casting shadows, and you're supposed to figure out how tall the lamppost is. That's the one on the left, and it is clearly four meters tall. This took some creative thinking. I love the thrill of a good solution. You know, I kind of wish they would have explained the math behind that puzzle. Yeah, 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 they could have been a lot more mathematical in their explanation of the solution. Anyway, let's go north, because we have another puzzle. Puzzle number 70, Good Neighbors. A, B, and C live in houses. Okay, A is west of B, red roof is east of the yellow roof, and the blue roof is west of A. Alright, so using those clues, we can figure out where everything is supposed to go. The blue roof is west of A, and A is west of B. So it has to look something like this, meaning C has to go here. Red is east of yellow, so it has to look like this. Some puzzles must be met directly. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Alrighty, no puzzle here. No puzzle here. If a person has a puzzle, they will have an exclamation mark on them, just like uh, Mr. Brown did right here. Puzzle number 72, checkerboard caps. You want to move two caps to create a checkerboard pattern. 
Alright, so this puzzle is tricky until you realize that we have this man here with white hair. And his hair is going to take the place of one of the white caps, thus providing us with the proper checkerboard pattern. Do some creative thinking. No puzzle is without an answer. Alright, Charlie's got a puzzle. Puzzle number 71, Fountain Fighten. Okay, so A and B are having some sort of fountain game where whoever opens the final spout is the winner. Okay, so one way to get through this challenge is by hoping to get lucky as you play the game. And I just lost. Okay, okay. Really what you're supposed to do is highlight this one, which splits up the board pretty much evenly. We have five spouts on the left and five spouts on the right. So this allows me to basically copy the person's moves on the other side of the board. So I'm doing everything he does on the left, on the right. And there we go. I just won the game. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. I love the thrill of a good solution. Alright, so the Spectre is definitely trying to protect the town. Maybe this is right, maybe this isn't. In any case, let's continue solving puzzles. We have two puzzles in the hotel. Alright, Bobby has a puzzle and Joseph has a puzzle. Puzzle number 74, Emergency Lighting. You want to use seven lamps to light up all of the rooms. Alrighty, so seven lamps which light up the entire room. Okay, so this is relatively simple, I believe. Okay, looking good so far. One. Two, three. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Well, that's not the solution. The solution is probably going to be something more like this. Yeah, there we go. Some puzzles must be met directly. No puzzle is without an answer.
Puzzle number 73, Bottle Game. We have a puzzle where the last person to take a move loses the game. And you can take one to three bottles per turn. So one way is to play the game and hope to get lucky. And that didn't work, I just lost the game. Here's the strategy. You want to take two bottles on the first turn. You want to make sure that you always have four bottles on the next turn. So, Joseph takes three bottles, three plus one is four. Okay, three plus one is four. Joseph just this lost the game. Thinking. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Well, I didn't really get a good chance to show off the solution, but this is the solution. Every time you want it to go down by four. So 13 minus four is nine, nine minus four is five, five minus four is one. Joseph, I think you should stay away from wine bottles from now on, okay? I think Joseph has been drinking a little bit too much lately. And hey guys, that was uh, the ninth puzzle of this video. Just one more puzzle and then we'll be finished. And Milo does not have a puzzle. Whoa, Milo! Milo's getting excited, I wonder what he was talking about. I probably shouldn't have skipped through that conversation. You know what, I am interested in seeing why he was so excited. Let's see if he will repeat the conversation and tell us why he is so excited. Oh, he likes getting up early in the morning? That's why he's excited? Oh, that's not very exciting. Milo, you need to stay inside and get lots of sleep, okay? And hey! It's Goosey! Puzzle number 75, The Magic Paint. What you want to do is paint a piece of wood with a magic paintbrush, which um, changes color every time you paint it. The first time you paint over something, it's pink. The second time you paint over it, it's orange. And the third time you paint over it, it's brown. It is going to take five strokes of the paintbrush in order to get that particular color. See all those colors there? You can reach that color thing in five strokes of the paintbrush. I, right. I knew I could do it! Yes, that's ambitious. Well, that's Goosey, everybody.